Hi guys, big up to the yachties. Hi love bugs. Tonight we're going to do a review on The Flash Season 4, Episode 14. Um, before we get started, please subscribe to my channel, please. Press that subscribe button right there. Ding the little red button, subscribe, and press a like. So, you guys are going to be happy, the Ralph Disney people out there, because some of my subscribers have been saying I'm a little bit too hard on Ralph Disney. So, you guys, you are, will be happy to know tonight, I won't call him Ralph Disney. I'll call him Ralph because he actually stepped up to the plate and man up tonight. So, he'll be called Ralph. And, but don't get it twisted. Next week, he could go back to Ralph Disney. Okay. So basically, it started out with Barry walking into the police station. Everybody was looking at him. And I'm like, why is everybody looking at him? So some girl told him, Captain Singh needs to see. He went to Captain Singh office. And Captain Singh said to him, listen, Barry, the mayor, you bitch, you tried it. May I have several seats? I got, listen, last week I was saying, big up to a female mayor, but you know what you are? You're a politician, and I'm, gonna, I'm goddamn sick of y'all politician. Okay, let's move on with this mayor bullshit. Basically told my sweet Barry that, you know, Captain Sin said, you gotta make this die down. Barry asked him when, he said he really don't know. <sighs> have several seats, Captain Sin. Bye. Next we go to Star Lab with my precious Iris West Ellen forever. And, um, Caitlin. Cisco and everybody was there. They were trying to find the next meta. So Barry walked in and told him that basically he's suspended from work and he doesn't know when he's going to go back. And my precious Iris, you know, being she's a ride or die for her man, said, baby, it's okay. And so Ralph did walk in and said, we got to find her. Barry said, we got to focus on finding her. Ralph did walk in and said, this is all the stuff I have from the the, the bus stop. You know, maybe we could look through it and find, get an idea of who the next person is. They find a CD. And Iris pulled it up, and it, um, Cisco vibed it, and they find out where she was going to be. Then after that, we go to uh, Ralph Disney, a.k.a. Becky, a.k.a. He, she, a.k.a. I don't know what the hell she is. And Marlies, girl, I thought last week I was like, Marlies is going to, she's going to step up. She's going to change. She's going to move on. She's not going to do this shit. But Marlies, you are a hot mess, bitch. You are a ride or die chick. And for that, Marlies, I got to say big up. Because I couldn't do it. But you don't care. You riding that guy with Becky DeVoe. He, she, and you don't care. Girl, big up to that shit because I would have bailed. But anyway, you were saying um, Becky Becky DeVoe, whatever you want to call it, was saying that um, Becky DeVoe, whatever you were saying, whatever you want to call her, basically was saying she was going off on you because she was basically calling you like, how in the world you didn't notice? You should have known what was going to happen. Why did you know what was going to happen? And I'm like, really? Really? Is this what you're going to do, Becky um, DeVoe, whatever you want to call yourself? This woman is a riot or die for you, and this is what she gets from your ass? That I was just, I was really pissed that she did that. But, you know, she started telling her, she started saying to um, her sweet, oh, well, no, Marlies is a crazy bitch, so I would never call her sweet. Marlies the crazy bitch that's married to he, she, Becky, Ralph Disney, whatever you want to, I'm sorry, he, she, Devo, Becky, whatever you want to call it. She went off on her, so you should know what was going on. How dare you not know what's going on? And basically, Marley stood it and took it and said, next time, I will know. I'm like, ugh. So then we go back to Barry. Barry and um, Ralph Bidney showed up and said, basically told Izzy, like, listen, you're in trouble. You know, you were on the bus, and everybody that's on the bus got hit with, um, so you're basically a meta-human right now. And she was like, you guys ain't going to take me nowhere. And she went, boom, sonic on her ass. And basically, they threw them back up the, um, wherever she was in, the club. And basically, so they went back to Star Lab because they got to figure out what her power is and um, what was her power is and try to figure out how to find her. So Barry basically went all over the place looking for her and he couldn't find her. And then basically Cisco said to them, you know, you guys, do you guys ever even try to go on our social media or whatever to figure out where she is? And then basically Cisco said, Iris, and my precious Iris looked in there and figured out where she was going to be next. Um, Cisco basically tried to vibe her to find out where she is, and then, aka DeVoe, aka Becky, aka she, he, so basically, when Cisco was vibing her, so Cisco, you were too nosy, and basically slapped Cisco out of her division. Barry and Ralph showed up, and aka, um, aka, what do you call it, DeVoe, aka, um, he, she, aka Becky, Came there and said, I'm, 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 I'm came in to get Izzy. And just said, basically, Izzy said, bitch, you ain't getting me. And busy, Izzy went, boom, sonic on her ass. And basically, DeVoe fell. Marlies being the little sidekick. Marlies, you are hot, goddamn it. I have several feet. Came and got her. 
And, and Barry was so impressed because Barry was like, this is the first time somebody actually knocked um, Becky, a.k.a. DeVoe, out. And they're trying to find out what the secret is. You know, how they were shocked when she did it. So, um, I guess it's just, and basically, Iris is right. Later on, not right now, Iris basically told him that it could be just luck, you know, that she got her first time. And I think she got, a.k.a. Becky um, DeVoe off guard. So, basically, Barry took her back to there. And she didn't know who Barry and Ralph Divney was and Cisco was. I don't know how she didn't know who Ralph Divney was. Okay, please. Anyway, so she's like, you know, I'm not going to stay here. I don't know who you guys are. And once again, Barry, even though I love you, Barry Allen, everybody their mother know you're the Flash. He took his thing off. He showed her. Then Ralph took his show off. Cisco took his show off. And they basically said, we have to stay here. We got to do the buddy system. We got to train. And she walked out. Ralph Divney actually stepped up tonight, you guys. I'm going to say something good about him tonight. He was man up. He stepped out. He basically talked Izzy to coming back and staying there. Which, you guys, this is hard for me to do. But I'm going to do it. Big up to Ralph Dibney. Big up to Ralph Dibney. And so basically, okay, um, uh, uh, he, she, he, she, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Becky uh, Devo was pissed at Marley's. Who cares? Then we go back to Star Lab where Iris and Barry and um, Ralph Disney is trying to train train her, to, you know, so when she see DeVoe next time, she can handle her. So basically, yeah, Ralph Disney was training her. She was doing pretty good, but Barry was pushing her because he was nervous. He wanted everything to work out. And then we go back. Oh, you guys, I apologize. I skipped the part with um, Harry and Cecilia because I don't care. Harry is a scientist. And you're going to have him hanging out with Cecile, who was bitching and moaning about, and my God, Jerry's getting him in there, and my God, I can hear everything with the whining shit. Cecile, I love you with Joe. I don't care about your storyline. I don't care. I don't care. He is a scientist, and then you put him with this guy, Cecile. So Cecile's supposed to be like Harry's new best friend. Are, are you freaking kidding me, CW? Stop the madness. Okay. And basically, but anyway... Harry helped her. But she came back with her attitude, which I understand that big ass hat shit that Harry gave her, okay? And she was like, Harry, I can't do this shit. She gave it back to him. Harry got mad because he's got his temper. He started throwing stuff. And she's like, what is your problem? But it wasn't really her he was mad at. He was mad that he couldn't basically outsmart DeVoe because DeVoe, Becky, whoever is she. Because he thinks he's the smartest guy alive. And basically, he has to stand there and make... You know, DeVoe acting like the smartest guy. Harry thought he was the smartest guy. Then uh, we get my West Ellen, baby! West Ellen forever, okay? So, Barry and Iris, uh, Barry was like, you know, Iris was like, Barry, you need to slow down, stop rushing thing, you know. She, she's just been doing this for six hours. You know, Ralph was doing this for months. And basically, Barry's like, we don't have time. You know, he holds her by the shoulder. And I was like, yes, 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 West Ellen, yes! And then anyway, so... Barry went over there, and he's like, I'm going to speed this thing up. And basically, he went really fast and throwing stuff at her, at her and he accidentally, like, cut her hands or something. And um, once again, my sweet Barry, uh, my sweet Harris had to talk to her man, and she was like, baby boy. <laughs> Not in that term, but you know, you know I am. I was, I, I was like, yes, West Allen, baby! Because you know that's why I live or ride or die with West Allen. So anyway, she came in there, and she talked to her baby, and she basically told him, listen, baby. I'm doing it my own term, okay? She's like, basically, I understand you want to get him, but this is not who you are. We got to do the right swing. And she gave him a chicken and a cheek, and I was like, yes! I got my life. I got my West Allen. Because I swear to my episode was dragging to me. But, you know, anytime West Allen in it, if I get a snip, if I get a taste of them, I'm so happy. I could care less. And she, I just love her. She's sitting in his lap, and she hugs him. Yes, Iris, you ride or die with your baby boy. I love it. So then we go back to, again, uh, Harry with Cecilia. What is this shit about? Harry basically went over there, apologized, trying to talk to her. And she invited him, and they were talking. And um, basically, they came up with ideas. Cecilia was like, you're right. Then, Cecilia, really? <laughs> then, um, if, if y'all gonna do it that way, I just thought that, Cecilia, really? But okay, I have no beef with Cecilia, so I'm not gonna. Anyway, so we go back to Star Lab, and Ralph Dibney walked in, and Izzy was there, and uh, Caitlin basically, um, Fix her up and she was like, you know what? I'm out of here because god damn it. I'm safer out in the street because Barry almost killed my ass basically in that term so that um Harry said I came up with an idea and you know I came up with an idea and basically showed him a thing and he said this is the defibrillator basically when crazy Barry from season three who is 
aka not Barry, but it's Barry, try to kill Iris. And he said that they want to um, stop the vote with the defibrillator. So Barry and Iris are so excited. So yes, the crazy old Barry said, this is what we got to do to get rid of DeVoe. So everybody was all excited and think this is going to work. And I was like, this shit is not going to work. We're only on episode 14. This is bullshit, okay? I already knew it was going to be a letdown. But I was like, let's just let this play out. So they basically, um, Ralph didn't, they, so Barry's all excited. He was like, okay, you know, we've got to get Izzy. And we're just going to get out of here. We're going to solve the problem. Then Ralph Dibney walked in and said, you too, you were too hard on her. So she like, and then Iris, the queen, me, came in and said, listen, you better watch what you say to my man. She didn't say it that way, but she's like, that's not fair because she had the back of my man because that's our man and she ride or die with him. Okay, what's Ellen forever? I'm just saying. And so, and so Barry was like, you know, he's kind of right. And then, uh. He's, he is kind of right. Barry was on her. So once again, Cisco tried to vibe to find out where she is. And aka a a a DeVoe, aka Becky Shaw, aka he, she, pushed him out of the vision. And poor Cisco fell to the floor. So they basically realized they got to suit up. They got to save her. Because if they don't go save her, that crazy bitch, aka DeVoe, aka Becky Shaw, is going to kill her again. <sighs> this part was so sad, you guys. I was... I was all of my feelings in this part because it was sad. And then basically Barry showed up and um, Barry showed up and Ralph showed up and everybody thought they feel like it was going to work. So basically Barry tried to distract her. Ralph tried to put it on. She flipped it off. But Izzy got it on her forehead and Izzy thought, okay, we're out of it. No, because, you know, we're good. But somehow, as usual, the AKA crazy cycle bitch crazy man bitch Devo figure out AKA Becky shop what they was trying to do. And she got an older Izzy, which I kind of like Izzy, but, you know, kind of liked her. And basically, Izzy's dead, and now Izzy is, a.k.a. DeVoe, a.k.a. Becky Shop, a.k.a. DeVoe, a.k.a. Izzy, a.k.a. Becky Shop, a.k.a. DeVoe. A hot mess, okay? And basically, Ralph was crying, and I felt bad for Ralph tonight, guys. You, you know I don't usually feel bad for him, but he felt bad for him tonight. And he was like, just look at me, look at me, and he was in tears, and I felt so bad for him. I was like, although we've got Izzy... Anyway, it was sad. Moving on, we went back to Star Lab, and um, Harry's just frustrated that this guy, guy, have always getting over him. Um, everybody's just frustrated, and Iris is like, I don't understand what's going on. Sabotage said he's going to use this defibrillator, or whatever you want to call it. But then Cisco say maybe he said it, but he didn't say it was going to work. And so Cisco trying to tell him that she's in a different dimension. You know what I mean? And he's going to figure out where she's at. And um, basically. Um, here we go. We got West Allen again, baby. So Barry was like, he's frustrated. And he was like, you know, what am I going to do? And most of all, so he listened to what Iris said. He said, much as I want to get him, I understand what you say. I'm going to slow down and, you know, calm down until we figure out. And he's like, well, what am I going to do to meanwhile? I don't have a job. But Barry said, kiss your wife on the cheek, baby. Yes. And he's like, yes, get it on. And he kissed her on the cheek. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, I know I am about West Allen. So, we're wrapping it up right now because this is a wrap up phase. We go back to Cecile and Harry, and I don't know what the hell this shit is. Basically, Cecile is here to coach back, um, Harry and help him. That's great. I don't care! Move on. So, we go back to, uh, now, we go back to Izzy, Becky Shop, Devo, and everybody else that's inside her, okay? And she's playing the um, violin. And AKA Marlies, you crazy psycho bitch, Marlies. You're married to a he, she, girl, bye, Felicia. And she, they were like, our plan is back on schedule. And Marlies is like, yes, we're back on schedule. And I look at the bus matter, and that's how it's end. So the tonight episode was okay. But as long as Barry and Iris is in West Allen forever, I'm always loving it, okay? So it's a good episode because they were in it. And that's the episode of The Flash, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a good night.